Hey guys, good morning. I got a new LG 32 inch display. I think it sits up a little too high. Okay, I'm going to show a couple of things that I did with DX Lab Commander and using the Spectrum Waterfall display, but let me show you in the radio first a couple of things that need to be set up. And this is the same on the ICOM 7300 and the 7610. You want to hit uh, menu set connectors and go to the CIV and the first thing you want to do is turn CIV transceive off and I have it on because RSBA uses that and if I connect with RSBA it may turn it on automatically I'm not sure but we want to turn that off and the uh, CIV USB baud rate needs to be set to 115.2 and uh, that's the way it is for other spectrum waterfall displays like an N1 MM logger so uh, CIV USB echo back I've got that turned on and I use that for a couple other software programs but uh, the thing I want to point out is CIV transceive turn that off and that's the same in the ICOM 7300 you go to menu set connectors in the CIV menu and turn that off Okay, once you get that done on the radio, you can go to uh, DX Lab Commander and uh, change the setting in here. You want to go to Config and then over to General and your radio, whether it's the 7300 or the 7610, you can click on Interrogation. And you'll notice when you hold your, your mouse over that, it will tell you, don't check if the ICOM uh, CIV transceive setting is enabled. And we did turn that off. So doing that, you'll see your S meter start working and these filters over here will initiate. Now I've got uh, some different sliders out on my website. If you looked at that past video, uh, I've got some new sliders out there. Uh, a CW side tone level slider, one for the 7610 and one for the 7300. And I've got a couple of other buttons out there too if you want to take a look. I'll put the link below. Okay, let's take a quick look at the Spectrum Waterfall display. And if you have Commander pulled up, click on Band Spread. This pops up and then you can click on Config. And under the Band Spread tab, you'll see Spectrum Waterfall window select it. This works for the ICOM 7300, 7610, probably a couple other radios. And it's really nice. I, I like it. It works well. At first uh, I was a little disappointed in the quality of it, but I made some changes in there and I like it now. I like it a lot. I use it. Let's take a look at the changes that I made. I'm in uh, fixed mode and I like it there. I'm on uh, 80 meters. I've got some spots popping up over here. Different colors. I've got a different font. And if you go to the Spectrum Config, I'll show you the changes that I made. I unselected these three. And when I have Auto Track selected, I don't like the way that it operates because when I click on a spot, it uh, changes the Waterfall Spectrum display. And I didn't care for that. So you can play around with that. The Mode Auto Track, or Frequency Auto Track, play around with those two. Of course, always on top, puts it on top the whole time and it will hide other windows. Uh, the DX spot rows I've got set to 4 and when there's a lot of activity I can increase it to 8 and it, it uh, looks really good. The DX spot font, font I've changed uh, for the large aerial, small aerial and then over here I changed these because they were just too small. I've got this LG 32 inch display and it's uh, a really high resolution 1920 by 1080 and I needed to increase this a little bit and uh, boy I can see this monitor I can see the spots on there and I don't even need my glasses 
So I, I like that. That's the reason I, I got this 32 inch display. Uh, I don't need to use my reading glasses. Uh, let's see, the colors, I've changed uh, the receive frequency marker, I left the transmit frequency marker color the same, but you'll notice uh, the receive is green, and that just makes sense to me. Uh, the spectrum uh, display, I changed that, I've got a black background, and the spectrum data color, I changed to green, so it looks like the the spectrum scope on my 7610 or my 7300 it just is similar and then the waterfall section black to red that gives me a little bit more color and I did something like that in the 7610 uh, I changed the it just a little bit so it gives me a little bit more color on the spectrum scope and you'll see a little bit of red pop up in there and I just think that looks good but it's something you can play around with. And I, I really like this. It's, uh, it's working well for me. And I've been using the spots on here. I can click on a spot and it takes me to that frequency. And if I want to go back to the net that I was on, I can just select, select the memory in here and go right back to it. And this stays the same. So boy, I, I've really been enjoying it. I don't use this at all anymore. And uh, you can change the band, uh, the, the reference level up here. To get a nice color in there. You can change the gain again to get a nice color in there. So boy, it looks really, really good. I like it and I've been using it a lot. Here's an example of the Spectrum Waterfall display, a little bit more activity. This is on 20 meters, about 10 o'clock in the morning central time. And you can see it works really well. Looks great. I can go up and down the band, selecting on DX spots. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and tell your friends. 73, good DX.